Hey folks, it's Greg. You're watching Greg Country Cabin Outdoors. I'm over here at Jerry Liddick's shop. This is Jerry. And I've showed you my Liddick knives. There's the three of them right there. And uh, I want to show you uh, a little bit about Jerry and what he's got going on here. Now, Jerry, you haven't been doing this very long, have you? No, uh, pretty heavy for about a year, but all together probably a year and a half to two years. Okay. I've kind of dabbling in the first couple of years, first year or so. Well, how'd you get started? Well, uh, I, I originally started back here. I, I used to build uh, antler lamps and stuff like that. Yeah. And just whatever I could out of any kind of whitetail antlers or elk antler or what have you. And uh, just occasionally I would pick up, I'd get a knife with a broken tang or a messed up handle and, mm -hmm. and just stick an antler handle on it and stuff like that. Uh, and then uh, somebody else saw my work, like you, and, and uh, said, hey, I'd love, love to have you make, make me a knife for my nephew down in Kentucky, who's in the service. And so I, I, but at that time, I, I ordered my product online and got the blade and everything, but I put an antler handle on it. Uh, but like I said, just, just dabbled here and there, and then just finally in the last year or so, I came across a good source of, of some hardened steel. Now, what do you use for your steel? I use, these are cutting wheels off of an anhydrous applicator and uh, these suckers are hard they are and very heavy uh, I, I'm not sure the exact number of steel uh, I'm guessing at least 10 1080 uh, some could be 1095s I know <coughs> this, this this little knife right here that sucker is, is Dirty, yeah, you're not going to bend them. I, I <laughs> yeah, know no, that for a no. fact. <laughs> I know that for a fact. In fact, uh, that's not the original chopper that I bought from you. This is the second one that I yeah, bought. Yeah, the second one, yeah. Um, but the first one, I used it. I did a video on my channel, a uh, nice little chopper, mm -hmm. and uh, I was real impressed. You can baton it. It's not going to hurt it. It holds an edge beautifully mm -hmm. um and you saw the disc that he's using it will rust it's not stainless steel yeah, yeah. it's not that cheap stuff it's good quality steel so um <clears throat> now you've got several different types of wood that you use for your handles yeah uh, i'll use about anything and i uh you asked me a while ago if there was somebody that had specials type of wood or a piece of wood that, that's maybe a, uh, something that belonged to a lost relative or something and uh, uh, I'm always glad to use anything you've got uh, if you got a favorite antler from a deer you shot mm -hmm. or, or what have you I, I, you know I'm glad to use use any anything I can that, that, that you want used okay yeah I have a pretty good selection you got of, a selection of wood here what have you got all <clears throat> well I've got <clears throat> some looks like uh, you got some pretty good stuff here hickory back here yeah. um, a little bit of oak, some uh, um, sycamore. Sycamore there, yes. Yep. And in through here, I got a little got some ironwood, a bunch of different kinds of different woods in there. Um, here's another one. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, I got that from a friend of mine in Meridosha who has a wood shop and. Builds all kinds of things. Builds guitars. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I got some bird's eye maple in here. Here's, I uh, got my brother-in-law does some turnings for me. Got some boxwood. A uh, little bit of of uh, <clears throat> walnut there. Uh, Osage orange. Oh, yeah. So you know that'll be a good heart. Oh, yeah. That's a good heart. Uh, okay, now will you build a... a a specific type of handle i mean do you use a full tang or do you use a partial tang i, I do both full tangs okay. and partial tangs uh i don't have any here i don't think uh that's another one old one i did here's another one of my old ones uh that's a partial tang inside uh -huh. there like that uh, but these here like uh, these little scooters these have been pretty popular uh of course they're a full tang mm -hmm. uh, i've had a lot of people I uh, really like those. Of course, you've got one with the regular antler handle on it. Yeah. Uh, but the ones I've sold these to, they're like, man, we put an edge on them, and they're there forever. Well, that's just it. I, I, uh, that particular one's going to my friend Kyle. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, my friend Kyle uh, harvested a deer this fall, and uh, I went out to help him find it, and I had my Skinner gut knife yeah. with me. And uh, he was having trouble with the gut knife that he had. And I said, here, try this. 
and he opened that deer up and he said oh man i gotta have one of them <laughs> <laughs> he was sold so yeah they're they're a good quality steel and uh they hold an edge really well they i'll tell you they're, they're nothing pristine I don't, I don't have high dollar equipment and everything that a lot of these guys use i'm going to work myself up to that well, that's just it. The more you sell, the more you can yep. you can afford to put into, it. and it's a, it's a hobby, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. It it's is, it's yeah. not a full time job. No, something I can hopefully when I retire here in a few years, I got something to kick back on. Kick just back to keep on. Me busy, yep. keep me out of trouble, keep me out of the wife's hair. <laughs> <laughs> that's the big thing. Keep you out of the wife's hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so now this is another knife here. That is that one that you remade. Um, I. I, no, that's one of them I made out of the other that's steel. That's uh, okay. Steel, yeah. I can, yeah. The reason I ask is because it looks so so thick. Yeah. These yeah. are good quality, and, it, and they hold a real nice spine. So let me show you what I did to mine. Now, Jerry sold me this knife with this specific antler because I loved it, and uh, <clears throat> what I did is I drilled a hole in the antler, mm -hmm. made a bearing block. So that I can make a bow drill fire if I oh, have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The spine was already sharp, but I sharpened it to a nice, sharp 90 degree edge mm -hmm. so that I can strike a ferro rod yeah. if I want to. So if you want a good bushcraft knife, this is perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect. Now, my neck knife is, uh, go ahead and pull that off there. It's one that I specifically wanted for use for cooking. I want to be able to slice my onions and mm -hmm, tomatoes mm -hmm. and, and uh, peppers and stuff like that. And I have used this to slice onions, and it will slice them paper thin. Yeah. It's unbelievable. You can control it. So, yeah, these are quality knives. They will not give up on you. They will hold an edge and... Hey, this is Jerry. You have a website or a? I just uh, uh, I'm on Instagram with and, and Facebook. Facebook uh, uh, Midwest Blade Works. Midwest this Blade Works. What I go by. Yeah. Okay, okay. So because I wanted to put that on my channel, every time I mention your uh, antler channel, I say it wrong. I say Prairie <laughs> Antler Art. That's what it used to be. Yeah. And <laughs> so yeah, it's it's what is it now? Midwest Blade Works. Midwest Blade Works. Okay. So, hey, folks, uh, that's all I have for tonight. And uh, I hope you like this little video. If you want a knife, don't hesitate to contact Jerry. He'll be more than happy to make one for you. Um, he's been dealing with a few family issues lately, so he's kind of slowed down a little bit. But um, And he does have a full-time job. So just keep in mind, this is a hobby. Oh, There's wow, look at that beauty. That's going up for a benefit auction here in about a month or so. Yeah, you did that before. Mm -hmm. And uh, you had Bill from uh, Leather by Bill make mm -hmm. a sheath for yeah. you. Now, I have my sheaths made by Bill from Leather by Bill because I've known Bill for several years, and he's a good old 